Do you know that holding an image on the screen of your mind with your will is concentration? Concentration with the mind works very much like a magnifying glass with the sun. You can take and marshal that energy and you can bring it to a white hot bee. If someone's standing behind you and they're staring at you, you feel it. You know why? When you concentrate, you increase the amplitude of vibration. Your energy's got more power with it. Oh, I would suggest that you start to review this. Review it often. Sit down and ask yourself, am I using my imagination? Am I building the picture that I want to build? The very fact that you're hearing my voice right now should make you think. Give consideration to this. I have a little phone that weighs seven ounces. I can put it in a shirt pocket. I just hit two buttons, function and eight, and it doesn't ring, it vibrates. Somebody in Singapore could phone me and it would vibrate in my shirt pocket. I'd take it out and answer it and there they would be. Do you think it's an accident that we've been able to do that? And that's nothing compared to what we're capable of doing. Von Braun said that the laws were so precise that we could send a person to the moon and time the landing with the precision of a fraction of a second. And when Kennedy asked him what it would take to do it, he said the will to do it. The will, there's one of your intellectual factors. In other words, the concentration, the focus on it. Everybody thinks we've got to slow down, we're moving too fast. We haven't even started to pick up speed. What we've got to do is calm down. When you're calm, when you're relaxed, the energy flows freely through you. Why do you think people study yoga? <laughs> they study yoga so that the energy will flow freely through them. They don't get more energy. Everybody's got all there is now. You learn how to release it. You learn how to make yourself into a better channel. You've got to be in a very relaxed state. You've got to let all the beautiful thoughts and all the dreams come to your consciousness. Realize this, if you can see it, you can do it. Now your old conditioning, or we could say your paradigm, is going to put up a vigorous mental battle. It does not want you to change. I always say there's two forces working against us as we go to move ahead in life. One's inside, one's outside. The one inside is the paradigm. The one outside is our environment. 96% of the population are going nowhere, and they're the people that we're running into all the time. What would you really love to do? Don't spend any time thinking of how you're going to do it. That's not even important. Don't let your present physical resources have anything to do with this. How would you love to spend your days? I love spending my days doing this kind of work. I really love waking people up out of a deep hypnotic trance that they're in. What do you love doing? And don't worry about the money. We say, well, I can't earn money doing it. That doesn't make any difference. You don't earn money from working. You get your satisfaction from your work. Follow your heart. Let your imagination fly. Don't spend five seconds or one ounce of energy thinking of how you're going to be, do, or have whatever it is that you come up with. How it's going to happen is not important, nor is it your responsibility. That's God's job. Your responsibility is to decide what you will move forward with. What are you going to go after? What's the target you're shooting at? Now get this straight. It is not your part to guide or supervise the creative process. All you have to do with that is to retain your vision, stick to your purpose, and maintain your faith and gratitude. 
as you're doing this, your mind, your old paradigm is going to be playing with you. It's going to keep saying, well, how would you do it? Where would you get the money? Where would you get the help? Just ignore all that. Every time those thoughts come to your mind, just say, next, that's the old paradigm. Don't let the paradigm control you. If you let your paradigm control you, you're never going to have any more than you've got. You've been endowed with all these magnificent faculties. If you just studied your body, it'll blow your mind. Do you know you've got an electrical system in your body that would make a supercomputer look like an absolute toy? Do you know that the blood circulates through hundreds of miles of passageway in your body every 33 seconds? It carries all the food in and all the garbage out in one sweeping change. Think of what you've got working for you. What are you going to do with it? Now you work at this. You take time, you totally relax, and you keep letting the pictures come to your mind. And don't you be at all afraid to write it down. Be bold and be courageous and write down what you want. The divine operation is always for expansion and fuller expression.